Random Battles is back and we're right into the game. And we're starting off strong. Torkoal into Mandibuzz. Uh, honestly, not that good if we get toxic I want to go to Sand Slash. I kind of want a Lava Plume Fish. Hmm. It is really fast, which is a problem. I don't want to get toxic But at the same time, a burn would be incredible for the rest of the team. I think I'm okay with getting toxic here. They knock off, that's fine too. Go fishing. We get lucky on the first fish attempt. They, now we can farm it with Sand Slush. Foul Play won't be doing enough damage. So we can get spikes up. They can't defog. They can't outspeed. Foul Play do damage. So it's overall uh, very comfortable. They go to Pachurisu, okay. I wonder why they would go that versus Torkoal. Because it's not terrible. I have an Earthquake coming and I have spikes too. I'm going to Earthquake for damage because I feel they might, yeah, they might do that. That's great. Now we have a spike up and Pachurisu is one of the most annoying Pokemon because of Nuzzle. So being able to get damage on that and not have to, you know, struggle to break it later in the game is very convenient. There we go. Get that spike. They're going to get Stealth Rock up, but I have Torkoal. Now, ideally, I wouldn't want to go to it now. I would want to wait for Sun to reset. But I suppose it can't be helped. One thing that's interesting is that I completely lose to Bronzong. A lot of my Pokemon can't touch it. So I'll have to get damage on it somehow. Okay, lucky dodge on Hypno there. But it is Hypno, right? Now we have Lava Plumes coming in to probably Mandibuzz. No, they stay in. I get that burn and that's massive for my double fairy type core. They don't know it yet, but that's really good for me. Okay. Let's go straight to Sand Slash. We threaten Triple Axel. If it goes into Bronzong, that's valuable damage for Comfy and Granbull later. If they really want it, yeah, they go to Bronzong. One, two, three. And the burn makes that damage permanent. We'll go to Torkoal now. They'll try it again with the Hypno strategy. Or they won't. We'll get a Lava Plume off now. We're going to get rid of Bronzong. Maybe I could have Rapid Spun there to always stay ahead of the curve. I could have definitely Rapid Spun there. A minor uh, misplay for me. They go to Sandaconda. I have my good friend Encore Volbeat. Encore that. If they try and go to Mandibuzz, I don't care. Because I have a pretty good counter in Sand Slash. Encore, then U-turn. We'll roost one time and then U-turn. I want them to switch out, and they do. I had a feeling they might try and stay in for there in there for a little while. And now we cause issues with Sand Slash. It has to go through Para, but if it does, it's going to hit an Ice-type move into a lot of Pokemon weak to Ice-type moves. That U-turn doing 20 is really good. We get knocked off. I am i don't like that, but it's okay. If they Roost here, which they can do, they'll eventually run out, so it's not a big deal for me. Yeah, because we just do so much damage. They'll have to... They, they'll run out before we stop, so they'll have to give up a Pokemon here, I hope. They go to Bear Tick. Okay. Now that is a Pokemon who can take me on. The problem here is close combat. Earthquake doesn't knock me out. Close combat is the main problem. However, at this point, I'm feeling pretty good about Comfy. Let's just go Torkoal. Get rid of it. Sacrifice Torkoal. Interesting. We're going to be able to Rapid Spin now. What? Do they don't have close combat. That's the deduction I'm making here. They don't have close combat or they didn't want to go for it for whatever reason. But... Okay. We'll go to Saiyan Slash here. They have Defog, no Toxic. Really good for Comfy now. Okay, good predict from them because Iron Head was a little obvious there. We'll Iron Head again into... U-turn into Bear Tick, I hope. Okay, let's get a spike. No, 
Uh, we need to get rid of Pachirisu immediately. Hopefully, we don't get full pair red. Okay, good. Because that was going to cause nuzzle issues to my Pokemon if I didn't get rid of it. Honestly, well played to not have to deal with hazards anymore. They've gotten Sand Slash weakened. I did get lucky with the Bronzong interactions and getting the, the one turn Lava Plume burn. But let's go for Iron Head. I'm curious. They do have close combat. I wonder why they didn't go for it the first time. In any case, I believe Miss Drevis is very good now with the fairy typing. Okay, they go to it immediately. I'm going to fairy. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna triple fairy. But the reason. Ooh. Okay, that's a cool play. I was gonna trip. I'm triple fairying. For I believe. I hope is a good reason. But let's calm mine now. We will keep going. Okay. Calm mind again. No reason not to. We'll be able to drain and kiss everything anyway. They've only shown Pokemon who are not fast enough. And trying to hit Miss Drevis super effectively, it is very tough when it's a levitate. Not not even levitate, when it's just a fairy type. You need like a physical steel type Pokemon who I will very likely willow. They don't have their Terra left either. I can't imagine there's a single Pokemon in the back who can beat Mistrefus now. Yeah, definitely not Sandaconda. Shadow Ball is a mate is a 50% chance to a kick knock one hit KO. 50% chance to one hit knockout. So I'll go for that. Draining Kiss doesn't get a KO. I get that KO. Yeah. Draining Kiss wouldn't have been good enough. They go to Ninetales, which is not good enough at all. Or Maybe it is good enough. They Encore, or they can freeze. I was scared of Encore. If they Encore, then I can't use my Willow on Beartick. But even then, we have so much priority. Prankster, Comfy, everything. Don't freeze me. If they freeze, I'll switch out. Okay? Oh, I have Torkoal the whole time. That's... Yeah, I just forgot about Torkoal the whole time. Okay, no freeze, which is good. I'll be able to get a Willow off on Bear Tick. I'll have Encore, I have Intimidate, I have Icicle Crash Dodge. Yeah, okay. This is over now. We always outspeed. I could have gone, to be technically correct, I could have gone full, full beat there, but... 35. Critical hit, but... Aqua Jet does get me, and we'll go to Comfy just to show off the last Pokemon. GG, let's keep going. Overall, a good start. A Raging Bolt into Tropius? I take damage, but I think I can comfortably comfortably leech here. Yeah, Volt isn't enough. And Tropius, as you may or may not know, is one of the best random battle Pokemon because of that leech substitute stalling idea. Incredibly tough to actually break. They go to SQ, okay, that's good for me. We're healing, we'll switch out to Ninetales, I think is good. I have to be careful about giving up Proto to Raging Bolt. I kind of want T-Spikes too. Let me use SQ as an opportunity to get T-Spikes up. Do I Fire Blast? I didn't check. Okay, this could have been a bad idea. They go to Raging Bolt. I'm comfortable trading damage for a T-Spike. They go to Rhyperior. They didn't even attack me. Okay. This Pokemon could be annoying. I can hit it super effectively, but I have to be careful. Do I value Skunk Tank? I think I want to get rid of Weakness Policy more than anything. And I think they might even Stone Edge into Tropius. Yeah. They Rock Polish. Okay. I'm very comfortable because I don't have to deal with Weakness Policy or anything. But the question is now what? It's 228. Vigoroth, I imagine, is going to be useful. Do I go to Tropius? It could have Ice Punch. Do I go to Ditto? Ditto's HP is too low. I could always Terra Grass Ninetales, but I don't want to commit the Terra for Rhyperior. Hmm. I think... Vigoroth could be a late game Pokemon that wins with T-Spikes. 
I'm, I think I just want to give up. It's tough. Do I really want to give up Skunk Tank and then Terror Grass Ninetales to beat Rhyperior this early in the game when I don't know enough about what Pokemon they have in the back? I think I am going to be comfortable doing that because I have a ditto that gets me out of bad situations. So I'm okay with doing it. I don't like it, but well, it has to be done. Unless they go to Raging Bolt, but then they'll take the T-Spike and I'll be happy either way. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gambling on the fact that these three Pokemon can't punish me for committing the early Terra. Okay. Good, we get, out a po we get a Pokemon off the field who would have been very dangerous. Now Vigoroth can do well, for example. Tropius can do a lot better. They have a Poison type. I have a Pikachu. Okay, this is... Do I go to my own Ditto? I don't want to reveal too early, but let's go to Ditto. Okay. This is tricky. I don't know how to play this at all. I'll go Pikachu. Pikachu is not valuable to me because it's never going to beat Raging Bolt. So I, I'm going to use Pikachu defensively. Okay, they switched out. I don't think they should switch out there. What they should be doing is always getting that T-Spike or using Toxic versus me because I have to switch out eventually. Ooh, do I go Ditto and Scarf Draco? I have Scarf Draco. But they could Terra, they could Terra out of it. I'm gonna Volt. Yep, I, I figured they might try and uh, Terra to get out of the situation. Okay. Let's go to Vigoroth. Vigoroth is the match winner now with um, Earthquake. Or I guess it's not if it gets critical hit. Okay. That was one way that could have gone. Go to Ninetales. Scorching Sands. Critical hit's good. I was hoping they would go to Toxapex. We'll Fire Blast now. We want raw damage for Pikachu. It's the main idea. You know what? Scorching is better because I do think Toxapex is realistic. This is definitely going to be tricky because the main way for me to beat Toxapex is going to be Tropius, I believe. Or I guess Pikachu too, but I don't want my Pokemon to get poisoned is the main problem. Yeah, this is a tricky matchup. They do go to Toxapex. Do I get the burn? I really want that for Tropius here. We do get it. Good. Now what? Do I go to Ditto? No, I just get damage off. My strongest attack is Solarium here. 37. Okay. I'm going to Fire Blast. I'm going to get my, my dying attack off here. Because I don't... They stayed in. They were going to lose their best Pokemon. Ooh, that's a, a tricky stay in there. A little Volt Tackle now. At least... Oh, they, they did not really value that as much as I thought they would. Okay. And that's why they have... Oh, Slacking can be farmed by Tropius, right? Let's Volt. If they're Scarf, they're Scarf. But I think they're Banned. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're going to have to take a Banned hit now. Banded Giga Impact. Hello? Knock off. I'm fine with that. Okay. Oh, I understand why, too. Because they wanted to be able to knock off the Tropius. Okay. The good thing is now my Pikachu... I think I win. Pikachu Tropius probably wins the game now. They go to SQ. They transform. Now what? Tropius Terra Steel? But I don't have my Terra Steel. I forgot I lost it. No, but don't I win now with Ditto? I have to deny Substitute. No, but my Ditto can never beat SQ. Yeah, I have to deny Substitute. Huh? Okay. Okay, I have denied Substitute now. They should always Ice is good. I don't know why they Liquidation there. Okay, I'm going to give up Pikachu. And I want to back Tropius to try and win the game. Oh, I guess it'll never happen with Veluza there. Okay. The Veluza is going to be the problem Pokemon. How fast am I? I must be 
They go to slacking. They're going to give that up. Yeah, this makes sense. Does it? Oh, Thunderclap. Yeah, that's why. Maybe I could have switched out there, but okay. Can I, you know, perform a miracle and get out? I don't think I can. I don't think I'm winning, but... Because they have this Volt play now. They don't Volt, okay. No, I get paralyzed. I'm going to Leech. Oh, no, I didn't get it. Yeah, Thunderclap was annoying. I could have switched out. Probably should have switched out. Then I could have gone to SQ after that. Or I could have gone to Ditto after that. That was... The end game became really murky there at the end. The, the root issue was, I think, maybe committing the Terra too early, but at the same time, I felt like I had to. Wo Chien into Toxicroak. We have Frost Slash, which is kind of okay. If we get hit by Knock, it's bad, but we do well into the other moves, which... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go Frost Slash here. Try and get my spikes up if I can. Or at least make it scared or make it want to switch out. Okay. That's interesting, but now what? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna spike on Protect. I think this is a good outcome. We'll just get one more off. We're likely to KO, by the way. The, the roll is 53 to 63. They go to Zerud. I have... Oh, I know it's Choice Scarf. I know it's Choice Scarf because I triple axled into it. I go Wo Chien. They can U-turn, but I think knock off it might be better for them. The U-turn, that's fine. Into, what, Salazzle maybe? Toxicroak? Ooh, that's even, that's even worse for me. I'll go to... There is no value in keeping Wo Chien alive, is there? Four, four Pokemon that just dominate it? I'm gonna have to give up Wo Chien here. Unfortunate. 219. Uh, Frost Slash should be fine. Get the triple axle on him. Depends on heavy duty boots or EV Light if we get the knockout, but most are heavy duty boots, yeah. Okay, one, two, and three. There we go. I do like keeping Frost Slash alive, so I'm gonna go to Berserker. I threaten close combat. I'm going to Stealth Rock for Salazzle. I don't need to, to be honest. Yeah, I don't need to. They're going to go to Toxic... Yeah, I'm going to get Stealth Rock. Yeah, this is good. Go Hard Frost last here. There we go. Get some damage off. I'll get Sucker Punched. I that reveals it for me, which is good. And now Miraidon is in. Time to Electro Drift. And Zarude's taking 24 or 25 from uh, Hazards every time it tries to come in. Oh, they have Chansey. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad, because I only have special attacking Pokemon. Okay. Can I brute force Chansey here? It does 30, not good enough. Or is it good enough? We have time, we'll go to Berserker first. Oh, this is, they're taking, they're going to take a lot of Hazard damage. They're probably going to give up Salazzle here and Revenge Kill. They, they're going to give up Zerud? Okay. I, I'm going to go to Raging Bolt here. They can't substitute is the main thing. Okay, we're going to get rid of Salazzle. My Preserker. How much HP does it have? They go to Stone Drainer. Okay. My Preserker is 91. It can't beat Chansey. Okay. I always Thunderbolt here. They Rock Polish? Okay. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a really close one. I don't think Rock Polishing on Raging Bolt, but at, to be honest, at that point, the game was over because Earthquake wouldn't have knocked out my Raging Bolt, even with Life Orb. Palafin into Empoleon. They're going to be able to flip turn. I want to knock off whatever comes in. I could flip turn myself for momentum. So they flip turn, then I flip turn, and I'll have an advantageous momentum uh, swing because I can react to them. But I'd rather have a knock off than do that. 
I think a, a knockoff is more long-term valuable. Ooh, this is very long-term valuable. I don't think they should have done that. Flip turn. I mean, what do we want to do? Let's go Skunk Tank. Stealth Rock up. We'll T-Spike here. And then... Yeah, T-Spike is always good. Unless it's not good. Pseudo Wudo in. I'll go to him. Napoleon? I think it's fine. They have to make a predict to hit it. They didn't make a predict, they didn't hit it either. Either way. Oh yeah, now Empoleon's gonna break through. Okay. If Palafin gets poisoned here, I'm very happy to not have to deal with very happy to not have to deal with, you know, bulk up jet punch. It, it, they, it'll still be a threat, but it won't be as big as the threat. Okay, Pseudo Wudo's back in. Is it planning to Earthquake me? It might be banded. If you switched out to switch in, you must be banded. Should I knock off? Or should I go to Bronzong? You know what? Flip turn's always good. We'll go to Bronzong. If they Earthquake, that's the best case scenario. There we go. Okay. Iron Defense. They do have a Pokemon immune. Okay. But we have Skunk Tank. Oh, we have Empoleon too. Empoleon is great because if we knock off Skeledurge, they are weak to T-Spikes now. And we have Golduck and we have Skunk Tank. Uh, that didn't... Willow Mist didn't really matter. Now we have Surf. They... Okay, double Mist is annoying, but it didn't really matter long term. Alright, we're gonna get that win. Let's keep going. We're doing a lot better today than last time. We literally have a stall team. We have AV Alolan, Mulk, Alolan Muck. We have Regenerator Aloma Mola, and we have Skarmory too. Then we have, you know, Carbink. You know, these two don't sit stall. It's more like, you know, semi-stall, I guess. But we ha literally have a, st a stall team here. 43. They're desperate for Sticky Web, but my team is a team that really doesn't care about Sticky Web. Besides maybe Oranguru Lilligant. Okay, that was tanky. Uh, let's go to Aloma Mola and flip turn. Yeah, a little annoying to get knocked off, but it was unavoidable. Okay, they pounce. Let's flip turn, and the Pokemon we want to present to them is Muck. That way we don't reveal any new information, and Muck is generally hard to stop. Because it'll get that knockoff poison touch into whatever. Well, except Rhyperior. That's the one Pokemon it can't. But we beat Rhyperior with... Iron Defense Skarmory. Uh, let's go to Lilligant here. See if they go Lantern. Yeah, they did go Lantern. So basically, I would have... I always win with Iron Defense Body Press versus Rhyperior, but that brings in Lantern, and I didn't want to do that, so I went for like a neutral play that covers both. By going to uh, Lilligant that covers Rhyperior and Lantern. Embor? Okay. Okay, this could get tricky. Let's go to Oranguru first. Make it make a decision. Okay. That's Choice Scarf. Okay. Okay, it's not even Bulk Up Trailblaze. That would have been annoying. Bulk Up Trailblaze could have boosted through my Pokemon. I don't even have to deal with that anymore. Oink alone. We go always Carbic. This is literally a stall team. Chesto Rest. We boost faster than they can. Oh, Terra Ground. But now you spent the Terra Ground, but you don't beat Skarmory. So we don't have to worry about Terrestrialization anymore. Maybe they go, you know, Lantern. Okay, they didn't. But yeah, we always win. They go Lantern now. Giving up Volt is annoying, but manageable. They're going to Volt here, yeah. Embor in, but we have a Loma Mola. I don't think I'm going to run into issues with close combat, but I might. Yeah, 35 only. We'll flip turn on that. Or, okay, we do get the flip turn. Lilligant, I think Oranguru throwing off Psychic is more valuable to me. Just rip an attack into, yeah, removing Tauros is going to be good. That was banded too. Emborg comes in, I probably uh, sacrifice a Pokemon, or I could go to 
my good friend Aloma Mola immediately too. Even Wild Charge isn't good enough because I don't die and I can switch out later. Even better, they knock off. I'm going to flip turn again. Lilligant this time. Giga Drain for damage into Embor. You know what I really want to do? I want a Giga Drain into Lantern. Which did not work. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm pretty confident in... Oh, well now we have Muck in the game. Weakness policy, right? Yeah, I can knock that. No poison, that's fine. Skarmory always beats it. Do I body press into Lantern? Yeah. Go to Embor now. Wild Charge is what we're looking at now. But I can also give up or in Guru too. Head Smash, okay. Yeah, now we spam Scald. Flip turn into Skarmory. I think we can even Terra Fighting, maybe? Maybe not now. Just keep switching. Ooh, that's a little annoying. Scald into Rhyperior, no weakness policy. There we go, get the burn, we get the win. Let's get one final game. We're 2061. Let's get one final game and try and push it. Basque Legion into two cannon. Well, I have Stone Drainer. I have Garchomp too. Ooh, I like Hazard's Garchomp a lot. Oh, I, I really like having Hazards on my team. Let's flip turn. Oh, they tried to trap me. Okay. Hmm. Do I... I think I get Hazards up or... No, no. Let's go to Mimikyu. They are, they are Choice Scarf, guaranteed. What are they going to do? I want to go Basque Legion. Yep, there we go. Now I have the Choice Scarf. I'm going to flip turn. Go to Mimic Q. Okay, they break it. But I have Play Rough. Okay, I don't faint. Ooh, but I might as well have. That's way too much damage. The thing is, I'm happy about... Um, now all my Pokemon outspeed got the tell. Let's go to Garchomp. Earthquake, because you kind of have to respect Garchomp. You don't stay in there. Okay. They go to two cannon. Okay. I'm going to get Stealth Rock up. A little greedy, but I want to I wanted be able to do that. Go to Stone Journer now. Yep, there we go. Stone Edge is way too good. I'm gonna... No, no, no. What am I doing? That's crazy. Stone Edge is always good. Critical hit. I'm gonna give that up, unfortunately. But I do have Claude Zire with... Oh, it's not unaware. Okay. Get that Intimidate. Go to Garchomp now get that rough skin idea. I should have gone to Garchomp first. I'm not playing this game well. I should have gone to Garchomp first. I wonder if Unaware Qua a Quagsire is going to win the game. My strong feeling is Stone Drainer is going to be the one that actually wins the game. Okay, Cyclozar in. Okay, they're going to take damage. My Basket Legion... Does not KO, unfortunately. Let's Claude Zire here. Okay, Claude Zire, not good enough. And they get the Shed Tail off, unfortunate. Okay, that's good though. Round two of Stone Journer. Beak Blast, not gonna do enough. Okay, hit that. Ooh, almost, I needed that. I really did. Yeah, they're gonna get one more Shed Tail off. Okay, now we've entered the territory of this is bad. Can they keep going for Beak Blast? Okay, now nah, I just need to break the substitute. Okay, at least we had that work out. Okay, there we go. All right, and my reward is I fight a Palkia now. We'll have to get damage. Hopefully we crit. No, 
try Ice Beam. Okay, now I'm gonna hope that my late game Terra Water Hydro Pump is gonna win. They're gonna Terra Steel probably? I need ship damage? Do I need? No, no, I'm gonna Ice Beam one time. No, no, I'm gonna go Quillfish. Oh, I live. That's really good. Okay, come on. There we go, got it. A 1v1, but I have my Terrastalization. I'm going to get out of my weakness to dark. And I'm going to double Ice Beam. Double Ice Beam is the correct play. Okay. 55. There we go, we got it. Okay, that was a pretty fun game at the end. Maybe it'll, it'll make the thumbnail, probably. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. And subscribe if you aren't already. You made it all the way to the end. It'll help me out a lot if you subscribe. But yeah, thanks for watching.